morning, my brothers and sisters. Welcome to episode number 168 in the book of Genesis. Today we're going to talk about exposing what is hidden, which is what the story of Joseph is all about. So Joseph is exposing the sins of his brothers by using stuff that he actually didn't do, steal a cup, for example, in today's story, to reveal sins that they actually did do. So he's going to wrongly accuse them again of, and to expose what they what he can rightly accuse them of. So he's using stuff they did, didn't do to point to stuff that they did do. So the brothers are kind of knowing something is happening. They know that their sin from the past is being reckoned. They, they, they've already said that. And somehow the Lord is looking with favor upon them despite their sin. So somehow they're not getting what they deserve. Somehow the Lord has put treasure into their grain sacks. So this ruse continues and Joseph is going to order, orchestrate a big reveal. But first he's got to be working in the hearts and uh, of his brothers and ask, what is my response to previous sin? That's what he's asking the brothers to do. So far, it's been, you know, hardening of hearts and maybe a little bit of revelation. There's been some bright spots and some inkling that something is happening. So let's watch how the story unfolds in uh, Genesis chapter 43. And this is verse 26. When Joseph came home, they brought into the house, they brought into the house to him the present that they had with them. And they bowed down to him on the ground. And he inquired about inquired about the welfare and said, Is your father well? The old man of whom you spoke, is he still alive? They said, Your servant, our father, is well. He is still alive. And they bowed their heads and prostrated themselves. And he lifted up his eyes and saw his brother Benjamin. Now this is the first time he's seen Benjamin, his mother's son, and said, This, is this your youngest brother of whom you spoke? God be gracious to you, my son. Then Joseph hurried out, for his compassion grew warm for his brother. This is sweet here. And he sought a place to weep. So he weeps after seeing his brother now for <clears throat> first time in 20 or 25 years. And he entered his chamber and wept there. Then he washed his face and came out. And controlling himself, he said, serve the food. So Joseph hasn't seen Benjamin now. Uh, he's seen the other 10 brothers. Um, now, Benjamin is his full brother. The other brothers are his stepbrothers from three different uh, mothers. And so here, obviously, the intimacy of family is being uh, noted. <clears throat> now, verse 32. They served him by himself and them by themselves, and the Egyptians who ate with him by themselves, because the Egyptians could not eat with the Hebrews, for that is an abomination to the Egyptians. And they sat before him, the firstborn according to his birthright, and the youngest according to his youth. And the men looked at one another in amazement. Portions were taken to them from jo Joseph's table, but Benjamin's portion is five times as big as any of theirs. And they drank and were merry with him. So it's interesting that the Egyptians wouldn't eat with the Jews. Later, it would be for forbidden for the Jews to eat with the Gentiles. And then in Jesus' day, all the way through the book of Acts, those barriers have to be broken uh, broken down, which were last had previously lasted for hundreds of years. All right, uh, now we go into chapter 44. Then he commanded the steward of his house, fill the men's sacks with food as much as they can carry, that's good, and put it each man's money in the mouth of his sack, and put my cup, the silver cup, in the sack of the youngest. So this is where the this deceitful ruse continues with his money for the green, and he did as Joseph told him. As soon as the morning was light, the men were sent away with their donkeys. <clears throat> they had been gone only a short distance from the city. Now Joseph said to his steward, Up, follow after the men, and when you overtake them, say to them, Why have you repaid evil for good? Is it not from this that my Lord drinks, that by this he practices divination? You have done evil in doing this. When he overtook them, he spoke these words to them. They said to him, Why does my Lord speak such words as these? Far be it from your servants to do such a thing. Again, kind of defending themselves like, we're not, we're not sinners. This is part of the revelation. Verse 8. Behold, the money that we found in the mouths of our sacks we brought back to you from the land of Canaan. How then could we steal silver or gold from your Lord's house? Which of your servants is, whichever of your servants is found with it shall die. And we will also be the Lord's servants. He said, let it be as you say, he who is found with it shall be my servant and the rest of you shall be innocent. So the 
the steward kind of notches down the, the, the penalty to this. Then each man quickly lowered his sack to the ground, and each man opened his sack. He searched, beginning with the eldest and ending with the youngest, and the cup was found in Benjamin's sack. Then they tore their clothes, and every man loaded his donkey, and they returned to the city. So the ruse continues. This, their sin of selling their brother into slavery is coming out. It's being exposed. It's being reckoned reckon slowly, uh, like the Old Testament does. And Joseph is orchestrating this big reveal. But first, he's got to work in the hearts of his brothers. So what is my response to, to previous sin? So far, it's it's been mostly hardened and hidden. There's been some bright spots and some revelation that this is being admitted before man and before God. So the crazy thing about the story is Joseph is using this ruse of exposing sins that they actually did not do, steal the cup, to reveal sins that they actually did do. Did do. So he's going to wrongly accuse them. Why? To expose what he what he and the Lord is going to rightly accuse them of. So he's using stuff that they did not do to point to stuff that they did do. So stay tuned. The story continues tomorrow. Thanks for listening.